Om Shanti and good morning to all of you listeners. Today is your 173rd day of your Godly Blessing. And before we go ahead with the Godly Blessing, for the new listeners, have a look at the link above for yoga asans, flexibility, diet and sleep methods. Everything is given over there. So let's go ahead with this Godly Blessing. What does Baba have to say today? When a father tells his child that, child, you were so beautiful, you were so nice, you were so full of qualities, you were full of energy and you were full of all the goodness of life what life can give you that's the time the child recollects and the child is able to remember and tries to become the same again even if the child has fallen down and is on the wrong path but the father can remind the child that you are supposed to be on the right path because you were made like that you were given those qualities similarly over here also Baba is trying to tell us and teach us that what we are supposed to become and at the same time he is holding a hand so let's understand what Baba has to say in today's blessing. Baba says, may you have all rights, cycle after cycle. The whole world drama is like a movie, a repeating movie. So the cycle goes for around 5000 years, repeats again, starts again, repeats. So we understand that there is golden age, silver age, copper age and iron age. Right now we are in the confluence age. It's a transition time between the iron age and the golden age. And this is the time when we souls get one lifetime birth. And this is the birth in which we are supposed to change from impure to a pure soul. And this is the only method to get from impure to pure. And what is that method? Let's understand that. So Baba says, may you have all rights, cycle after cycle, with the awareness of your combined form and the intoxication of your position. When the father of a child tells him that you're supposed to become this, you're supposed to become the next prince, the child has to mend the ways, the child has to change their son's cars or their habits, so as to be on that throne. Similarly over here, God is reminding us of who we were, because only God knows what time we came on earth what we were in our previous births and what are we supposed to become again and when the cycle is going to turn around again. So let's get into the details. Baba says remain combined with the awareness of. Remain combined, combined with whom? With Baba, with the awareness of I and my Baba. Baba means God the Father. So I am a soul and God the Father is also a supreme soul who is my guide. And constantly be aware of the elevated position. What is the position? As a worshipper we always become a worshipper to God the Father but as a child you believe that you are supposed to follow the footsteps of the Father the Supreme Being the Supreme God Father so if we forget that position that we are his child and not worshippers there's a difference between a worshipper and a child a worshipper will ask for things the child will say I deserve the things and I always receive the things from God the Father a child never needs to ask the father give me money or give me this comfort or that comfort. God says, I am also your father similarly over here. As a worshipper, you've been asking me for so many things in your life, whether it's property, whether it's money, whether it's a spouse, whether it's anything in your life, whether it's your health or everything. Baba says that once you think of me as your father, you just need to be on the right path, on the right direction, the right thoughts, the right words and the right actions. And automatically you receive everything which you deserve. It's like the law of the universe. So Baba says, Today I am a Brahmin and tomorrow I will become a deity. Now here also God reminds us when we come in Brahma Kumaris, we recognize. We think generally that we are the child of so and so. I belong to so and so family with this for this particular surname. We are the lineage of so and so people. But God comes down and tells us that you are souls and you in your previous birth when I had sent you down, I had sent you as a divine soul, a divine being, a deity and you over a period of time became impure by doing wrong karmas. So remember who you were but before you become a deity you have to become a Brahmin. Brahmin is the elevated human being who follows all the rules and regulations of life, of karma, of thinking, of living pure. That's what is the symbol of a Brahmin. Brahmin is not somebody who looks like a Brahmin from outside. Brahmin is from within. So God says Brahmin means who follows Brahma. Brahma is Adam. So anybody who follows the first creation of God or Adam is 
Brahma or Brahmin. So the follower of Brahma or follower of Adam is a Brahmin in simple terms. So here Baba says, I will become a deity after I become a Brahmin. Brahmin is the elevated highest most human. So always remember the mantra, Hum so so hum. So what does it mean? I was a deity and I shall become a deity. Hum so. So I was that and now I have to become a deity again. So it's a cycle. So God says this is the complete cycle which you can recognize by this simple mantra which people recite. Hum so so hum. And they generally think of it as like a form of breathing or as a, as a form of opening the chakras. But God says it's about recognizing who you are. So when you recognize who you are and who you were in the previous births as a pure being, then enlightenment happens and that is what it means by hum so and so hum also. So by having the intoxication of and happiness of this, when God reminds us that you were a divine being in your previous births, when you have this intoxication, when you remember this, because no human being, no scripture in the world or no priest or no, no worldly father can tell you that who you were in your previous birth. So our uh, vision our limited vision cannot tell us what we were but when god comes down on earth he gives us the knowledge of the creation he reminds us of who we were and that's what makes us move ahead when we fall when we get into any kind of trouble that memory of who we were and whose we are and who is along with us as a combined form helps us to get up again and try to be on the righteous path try to use all the virtues instead of the vices and become pure and show God that we are their true children. So Baba says, by having the intoxication and happiness of this memory, you will easily forget the old world. This Kalyuk gives a lot of suffering and pain to people. And that's what people say that, when is this world going to end God? When is the suffering in the world going to end? God says, just remember this, that the new world is coming. It's just around the corner. And who you were in your previous life, what you have to become. Just remember your aim and objective and you will easily be able to forget the old world and the pain and the suffering of the old world and you will be able to move ahead. That's what anybody who wants to go ahead in life, if somebody is born in a poor family, the poor child wants to become the prime minister, the president or the scientist, that child always has a focus on that even though the conditions around him or her are not conducive for that person to become that but the aim is there. And that's what makes the person or that child happy and jovial and intoxicated with what is lying ahead for that child. Similarly, over here also God wants us to be in remembrance of what we were. That's why he reminds us you were that. And again, the cycle is turning and you're supposed to again become that pure being before you go ahead and go on top in Paramdham and again come down. You have to become a pure Brahmin and then only you'll be able to go up and come down. So Baba says you will always have the intoxication that you are a soul who has all the rights cycle after cycle. So I am a soul, you are a soul and we have the right to be in God's love, in God's care, in God's combined form and take all the blessings and all the rights and all the virtues from God. That is our birthright. That's why we call him the father. He is not supposed to provide us with the money or the food and other things. God says follow my virtue virtues follow my path and you'll automatically receive all those things of the world. So Baba says, I was this and I am this and I will be this cycle after cycle. I was this means God reminds us that you were a deity. I am this. I am becoming a deity divine being and I will be this cycle after cycle. So this is a beautiful and the most strong affirmation which somebody can use. So let's say a father reminds his child, you are a prince, you have become a pauper right now because of your karmas, because of your missing out on royalty and missing out on royal behavior. Now you again have to become that, what you were. So become a prince, change your ways, you will always be a prince. So God wants us to remember this, he wants us to be blessed and he wants us to be in higher spirits. So I leave you with this beautiful blessing. Stay safe, stay home, think of always as an elevated being for yourself. Have this affirmation that you were divine at one point of time and you will always become divine again with God's help. Om Shanti. Mm -hmm.